How's it going everyone? It's Tommy from Weather Sponge by Thousand and in this video we're going to talk about the Atlantic hurricane season and determine if there's a possibility we will see Tropical Storm Daniela develop near the Gulf Coast and determine how much rain you should expect from that tropical disturbance. But before I begin, make sure to subscribe if you want to see more weather related content. Make sure to like if you like this video and make sure to turn on post notifications if you want to see even more weather related content. So let's begin but straight into it by taking a look at the European model and as you can see um, right now it's fairly quiet throughout the Atlantic we do have a lot of stability right now in dry air and we are in a positive MJO pattern but I think that could change headed into next week where there's going to be an area of moisture that where maybe we could see a well-defined center circulation for tropical storm Daniela to form so if I were to continue to move forward with the European model well um, what we need to keep an eye on is this trough moving through the eastern half of the United States right here where we do have a prolonged cold from moving through the western Atlantic at this time and behind it we do have a large area of moisture creating a high amount of thunderstorm activity and we do see a low pressure system develop just off the Carolina coast so um, there's definitely some so while there was uncertainty that a uh, tropical storm may have developed out of this old pressure system, it seems like there's going to be a little bit too much instability for that to happen as tropical cyclones need a more well-defined center of circulation to really be considered a tropical storm. And it seems like the there's just going to be too much warm air and it won't necessarily be an independent low pressure system to be considered a tropical storm. So it's pretty much just going to be considered a regular mid latitude low pressure system that you typically see um, not really anything tropical however behind it is when things get interesting because we do see a large area of moisture right around the Carolinas that's exciting to move into the northern Gulf of Mexico where we do see a prolonged period of rain throughout the Gulf Coast so even if this doesn't develop into tropical storm Danielle this still has um, you still could see very heavy rain and flooding rain uh, throughout the Gulf Coast and if I were to continue to move forward we do see that moisture pretty much sticks around for quite a while and that's always something to pay close attention to when talking about uh, an area of moisture in the tropical Atlantic because there's always that possibility we could see a low pressure system potentially have the possibility of developing into a tropical storm at this point the National Hurricane Center isn't giving this um, a, um, any chance of developing within the next five days but I wouldn't be surprised if this becomes one of those surprise um, tropical storms that does develop maybe before the five day mark it's still highly unlikely keep that in mind but um, there but for one thing is that we could maybe see the chance rise over the next couple of days and plus beyond the five day mark there's that possibility we do see a low pressure system develop out of this area of moisture where we do see that right around the 144 hour mark we do see a low pressure system develop just south of the florida panhandle and so there is certainly maybe that small possibility we do see tropical storm danielle um, from this moisture however there are several factors that may keep it from developing for one thing is that there's going to be a decent amount of dry air and not really enough lift where it's going to be located because we do see that um behind because right pretty much right um just north of this moisture we do see a large amount of dry air and just not enough of that high of that um high um humidity that we should see in the middle of the atmosphere for a tropical storm to develop as this show shows that there's a lack of convection going on not a lot of lift or not enough lift to really create that possibility of a tropical storm and um you do see that the dry air does hinder it quite a bit but we do see another cold um sort of cold front or jet stream dip move through the northern united states that pretty much brings the cooler air southward so it might get a little bit of help from um barrel clinic influences that would allow for a little bit more lift to occur to where tropical storm danielle could develop off of this um, newly found instability by next by um, next weekend. So that's certainly a possibility if we do see enough instability where we do see a low pressure system form. It's very lopsided, but a low pressure system does form, and that 
could potentially become tropical storm danielle beyond the six day mark and if we were to take a look at the gfs model the gfs model also is expecting uh, moisture to move into the gulf of mexico but we do see that it's fairly disorganized and i think that's going to be another one of the factors that's going to inhibit it is that the area of moisture is going to be so large that there's not really going to be a central area where all that energy will converge towards so as a result we won't see the wind speed in any area strong enough to um for this um area of moisture to be considered um to be considered at tropical storm strength so we need to see really if the computer models hone in on a more well-defined center circulation by next week to really determine if this does have a good chance of developing within the next five days in terms of wind shear the wind shear is actually for the most part going to be fairly late so that does raise certainty that that does raise a possibility of a tropical storm developing because while it is strong right now we do see an upper level high locate right around the southeast we're, we're going to see that wind shear weaken as this upper level high continues to move eastward where um, beyond the 90 hour mark we do see the wind shear lighten quite a bit but there's still a little bit of wind shear just to north of it as a result of this jet stream dip so that could be enough to really disorganize um, this area of moisture enough to where a uh, center circulation can't really organize itself so um, but you see the wind shear I'd say is fairly late I'd say beyond the maybe 84 to 90 hour mark to where a tropical storm could form if all the other circumstances um, remain um, remain favorable for tropical cyclone development which still has yet to be seen at this point the dry air is going to be a question mark and also the how broad that area of moisture is because we need to see this the mo the area of moisture organize itself into one central area into one small center circulation to really determine if this does have a shot of developing but i'll make sure to keep you guys updated if the certainty does rise over the next several days but still a decent amount of uncertainty but whether this develops or not what you could be assured of along the gulf coast and the southeast is that there's going to be very heavy rainfall if i were to show you guys the forecast the radar from the gfs model we do see that um, there's a heavy amount of rainfall just lingering over the Gulf Coast states for quite a while and the European model is forecasting even more rain right around the southeast where we do see that area of rain just continue throughout the southeast which is definitely a concern you need to pay close attention to the possibility of flash flooding um, right around southeast as there's going to be just very very heavy rainfall if I were to show you guys the total accumulated precipitation forecasts over the next five days we do see that the european model is forecasting well over two inches of rain for a lot of the southeast and potentially more right around the southwestern portion of louisiana and just south of the mississippi gulf coast and alabama gulf coast so it's definitely something to pay attention to when it comes to rainfall you guys should be preparing for the possibility of flooding within the next week so make sure to keep that in mind the gfs model is also a Green for the most part that there will be a very he heavy rain threat throughout the southeast which should mitigate some of the drought conditions a little bit but it certainly won't be good news because it will enhance the chance of flooding whether like i said whether this develops into tropical storm danielle or not now um another thing i want to show you guys is what the ecens um computer models are saying or the spaghetti models we do see that they're at least developing a decent amount of low pressure sums as early as the 96 hour mark and a lot of them want to take it northeastward so the fact that the this um computer model or this spaghetti plot is developing um a low pressure system along the gulf coast it does show that there might be that possibility we could see a tropical storm in the um by next week or into next weekend where we do see it actually strengthen just a little bit as it move no moves northeastward so it's only something to keep in mind that we're at least going to see a low pressure system in the tropical atlantic currently the chance that this develops into tropical storm danielle is still low but it's at least something to be aware of along the gulf coast as this could potentially be our next tropical storm if the conditions play out right which like i said it's low but 
it's something to keep aware um be aware of now another thing i want to show you guys is the rainfall forecast over the next five days and look at the rainfall right around louisiana the new orleans metropolitan area um right around the southern coast of mississippi alabama and the florida panhandle you guys should expect potentially up to five inches of rain if not a little bit more than that maybe more than seven inches of rain on the extreme southern portions of louisiana so flooding is likely along these areas and this extends to the carolinas as well where this low pressure system that could develop into tropical storm danielle is expecting to move northward so that rain will move northward as well so keep that in mind along the carolinas as well georgia um you need to pay a close attention to heavy rainfall because it's going to be a prolonged period of heavy rain so make sure to pay close attention to that now um in terms of my forecast of where tropical storm danielle would develop it would develop just south of the gulf of mexico but flooding rains um, whether this develops or not is likely like i said before so make sure to at least be aware of this along the gulf coast and be prepared for flooding along the gulf coast and areas um a little bit further northward into the southeast as well but anyways guys i thank you guys for watching make sure to subscribe if you want to see more weather content and i hope you guys all have a great day